welcome to another episode of our fire alarm or fire protection system design in our last class we designed the manual core point or we'll call it brick glass and we also designed for our fire alarm bell likewise we try to coordinate our protection of brick glass with the fire alarm bell today we will be designing for our control panel fire alarm control panel FACP as I've already explained we have three types of fire alarm control panel we have the conventional panel we have the addressable fire alarm control panel and the digital addressable fire alarm control panel We have two ways in selecting the types of control panel we'll be using for a project. The first method is by numbering method. I mean the numbers of sensing devices we are having. While the other method, which is more professional, is the degree of protection method. The first one, which is the numbering method, implies if the numbers of sensing devices is lesser than 15, we'll be using a conventional system. But if the numbers of sensing devices is between 50 to 100, we'll be using an addressable system. Why if the numbers of sensing devices is greater than 100, we'll be using a digital addressable fire alarm control panel so for this our project which is residential apartment we majorly use a conventional system because we'll be able to configure our floors into zone but by looking into our project we have three floors we have the ground floor first floor and the pent floor Ordinarily, I can just assume that I'll be having a three zone fire alarm control panel, which will be a three zone fire alarm conventional control panel. But we have standards for our control panel, which actually ranges between two zone, four zone, eight zone, sixteen zone, etc. So Ordinarily, I can speculate a four zone fire alarm control panel for this our project. But we also have NFPA standard too. For a building with a total floor area lesser than 300 meters square requires a single zone regardless of the floor numbers. So by looking into this our project, let's take an area of the floor. Okay. So by typing area, <coughs> enter. Let's take it here. Let's take it here. Enter. So we are having an area of 120 meters square. With this figure, I can propose to combine our first floor and the pent floor to be in the same good zone, while our ground floor to be in another zone. In that case, we will be using a two zone fire alarm control panel. We just have our ground floor in a zone while the first floor and the pent floor in an other zone. A conventional system is a loop system, which implies all our devices can just be tapped and looped together. Unlike an addressable system, which is a line system, 
while all our devices we lined in a circuit so let's begin by creating a circuit for this our system by copying one of my codes here so we just use our, our alphanumerical method as always so let's copy so let's name this our main launch detector let's name it sd the smoke detector zone one number one let's just create the circuit for the old detector now F3. since it is a loop system it doesn't need to follow an order but if it is a line system we need to follow a specific order so we will be naming our dining here small detector zone one number two for our lobby here small detector zone one number three for our kitchen smoke detector zone one number four and let's name this our bedroom smoke detector zone one number five so let's create a circuit for our brake glasses to CO so we name this BG brake glass zone one number one let's copy c pin okay we're having only two so break glass zone one number two so let's create a circuit for our fire lamp bell to c pin so name this fb fire bell zone one number one let's copy cp i pressed circle c only initially so let's place it here fb zone one number two let's i forget we are not having smoke detector in our kitchen we are using its detector so we'll be naming this its detector smoke detector one of four here i named this each detector one of five so let's proceed to the other floors too let's copy this so we have the having smoke detector zone two Number one here, yeah. CP one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let's name it smooth detector two of one, two of two. Two of three, two of four, two of five, two of six, two of seven. Now let's create a circuit for the break glass two. So CP brick glass, which is BG, right? Two of one, and we're having another one at the level above, which is BG two of two. And for the fire bed, CPO copy. So 
F E two of one sleeping F E two of two. So this is how we do create circuit for conventional fire alarm system. In our next class will be designing the control panel single line diagram hope you enjoy this video don't forget to like and subscribe see you next class